the George and Alana show. Expert Mara Glaber shows us how bad manners can ruin a relationship. Next, etiquette expert Mara Graber shows us the wrong things to do with Mr. Wright. Now, George, we're going to do this segment on manners, right? And, and but your manners are perfect. I mean, you have flawless manners. That's not really Always true. Always annoyed me about you, actually. No, no, no. I, I have a lot of flaws, <laughs> and, and I'm not flawless, but I go to a lot of parties in, you know, as you do, and you're supposedly rich and famous kind of people, right? And they, I don't, they're awful, some of them. I don't know whether the dogs walk them or they walk the dogs. <laughs> well, let's hope all those people are watching because the founder of the RSVP Institute of Etiquette, Mara Graber, is here. And when she's through with us, we will have perfect manners. Okay. Right, Mara? Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Now, do adults really need etiquette lessons? Yes, absolutely. Uh, there are so many blended families and, and what we call serial marriages today that you do. Serial, serial marriages. marriages. <laughs> That's, yes, it's a, a new no, term for the 90s. No one on me. Well, it's, it's, for, it's for us people that have been married more than two or three times. Um, and anyway, you wind up at social functions with ex-spouses, ex-fiancés. You wind up uh, at social functions if you've got children together. And you can have some awkward moments. And so there, there are some things also, uh, as you said, you know, relationships can break up over uh, manners. We were talking about it earlier. And a lot of things, little things that annoy somebody or they, they might think it's cute when you're dating will be amplified yeah. as soon as you oh, get yeah. married. Oh, yeah. I know like that. Like food coming out of <laughs> oh, the yeah. corner of the mouth. We, we know about that, don't yeah. we, Alana? We have a What's lot of that? people. What are you saying? Well, we had little habits that annoyed each other when we were married, didn't we? I don't remember. Well, you don't talks, remember? He talks with food in his mouth and the, and the food shows sometimes. I do? Oh, yeah. When? Oh, gosh. You've I, seen this happen? Yes. I've never done that. Look, for instance, no, I only when he's joking. Seriously, Mara. He's so <laughs> no, no, you, you were on with... <laughs> you were on with Paul Prudhomme the other day, and the, the dish really looked marvelous. It really looked good, and I know you really wanted to eat it. And you were putting it in your mouth, and then you needed to cut to a commercial and I needed you turned... this. I really needed this for that. <laughs> Alana did this, didn't she? She brought it to you. No. no. Sorry, what did no. he do? Uh, he I was, talk he with was food talking in my with the food showing in his mouth. Okay. But you know, usually his manners are so impeccable. I mean he's like he, he was brought up by his mother who just made him impeccable. But it's little <laughs> things, like I said, he was it, it, I mean it looked delicious. The food looked wonderful. And he was trying to eat as quickly as possible. Elbow off the table, oh, though, and, and do put your napkin in your lap oh. when you sit down at the table. I kind of like this. You don't spank, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. No. Behave and you yourself. need to check and see how large your mouth is. I beg because, your pardon? OK. What you need to do is see how large your mouth is, how much food, no, with your mouth closed, how much food can you fit in there? And if you have to push it to the side of your mouth to say something like cut to a commercial, then you don't look like a hamster when you do it. What, what are you saying? I'm sorry, okay. I'm confused. You take a big bite of this and you look to see how much you can fit in your mouth? No, 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 no. How much food can you put in? This, this is about what I could put in and not look like a hamster if I have to put it in. Oh, you mean to hide it so you don't see it? Because you're not allowed to chew and talk at the same time. But we here in the United States do talk with food in our mouths. Marlon Brando did this in The Godfather, yes. I think. <laughs> yes. But you're not allowed to do yeah. this because you can choke yeah. or spray it out on your date right. or your ex-spouse. Maybe you want to. I don't know. Mm. All right. Now, now, what about toothpicks? I mean, people in Europe, you know, they do a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. you, know, you see that? I hate that. I don't even like toothpicks. I well, hate toothpicks, except the little hors d'oeuvres. Yes, and you're not supposed to yeah. eat something on a toothpick like this. Really, it's just to pick it up with. But, no. Oh, really, you shouldn't bite it off the... Oh, because I do oh, that you can, all the oh, time. Oh, you can bite it so, off. Oh. I, saw, I, I saw somebody on TV instructing people to do this. Oh, God, that's even worse. Mm -hmm. Has it got a pit mm -hmm. in it? Yes. It's got a pit in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you couldn't put the whole thing in your mouth? Oh, anyway. no, you can. Now, mm -hmm. now, what about things like... And then what like... do you do with the pit, though? Wait, wait, we got to get to the pit. I want to know what's going to happen to the pit. This is the pit. <laughs> you don't do this. <laughs> oh, no, no, okay. no. No, no. You, don't, you just take it out with your fingers. You take it out with your fingers mm -hmm. and you place it down. Mm -hmm. The okay. rule is, if something goes into your mouth with your, a utensil, it comes out with a utensil. If it goes into your mouth with your fingers, it comes out with your fingers. But it's very difficult to take out, like, fish bones with your fingers. No, you need uh, probably oh, an ER utensil, room. Or utensil, rather. All right. I'm, I'm, this is important. I'm glad you know this. Now, yeah. do women generally have better manners than men? Not necessarily. We had a woman who, uh, 
her daughter was a teenager in a class of mine telling me, she, she had asked, she said, what do you do if your parents really embarrass you? And all teenagers are embarrassed by their parents. It's just mm. by nature. And I said, well, what exactly, you know, are you talking about? And she said, we went out to dinner, and my mother took her pierced earring out of her ear, one of those hoop wire earring type things, and started picking her teeth at the oh, table with it. Oh, that's disgusting. It was too bizarre did that? to no, no. make up. And worse, I've seen uh, kids, you know, my son's age, take the pierced out of their nose and pick their teeth oh. up. Oh, that's I mean, really I mean, right in here, isn't that awful? No. That's disgusting. <laughs> I thought we'd get pretty down here in the etiquette thing. What do you, how are we Give doing? Give a little piece of bread or something on Oh, yes, I'm not perfect. Okay, okay, now, how about a little demo here? What are okay. we... Okay, women, women always ask, can they put on lipstick at the table? Sure, you can put on lipstick at the table. It's perfectly acceptable now to do this. However, once you start doing this, if you see food in your mouth, you're almost automatically going to... Oh, try and pick it right. out and you're not allowed to do an entire makeover no. so it's best to just excuse yourself and go to the powder room now so let me ask you one more thing how do you refuse something at a party yeah. without uh, offending Good your question. host okay well if somebody's offering you something and you don't know what it is and you're really hungry or you just don't know what it is and, and you would like to try it maybe based on what the answer is you can say um gee that looks interesting what is it you mean like okay. a, like a, something really slimy or right. like what? If you um, escargot, uh, yeah. squid, yeah. oysters, um, yeah. you can say that looks interesting. If you say, "Oh, that looks delicious," what is it? Then you're Ugh. stuck. Now you've got tongs right next to you there, and you're going to be. I don't be... eat. Uh, I'm allergic to escargot. <laughs> And what do you do? Uh, no, no, no. See, uh -huh. see, the first time I ever ordered escargot, everyone else was ordering some, and I looked at it, and they said, aren't you going to have some? And I thought, gosh, they all look so sophisticated. <laughs> and I thought, you know, it looks small enough that I can swallow it and then pretend like I'm chewing. And you I mean did swallow that. it whole? Yeah. No, that's just, bad for you. No, just no that's it's terrible. No, it's no, small no, enough. No, yeah, yeah. no you have yeah. to chew your food very carefully. I've always taught my kids that. Oh, no, it's small enough. Laura said it's all well, right. Well, then you try it, well, honey. Well, you do it first, no, no, and then I'll you. do it. No, thank you. Go no, ahead. No, I want to no, see no, you, you do. Go no, ahead. Thank you. Just try one. Come on. Just poor daddy. We have to go now. We got to go. Down the hatch. Goodbye. Oh, that's a good boy. Mara, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back.